Hello and welcome to Getting Started with Scratch. It's part of my uh, Game Schools tutorials. Um, they're here to really to help me and also to help uh, my students uh, uh, doing the kind of some of the workshops I'm doing across the UK. Uh, in this um, Getting Started with Scratch tutorial, we're using version 1.4 and we're using the Scratch Getting Started um, PDF that comes uh, sort of shipped with uh, the Scratch version that you've got downloaded. So let's just get let's kick off and get started. So uh, it says here, Scratch is a new programming language that lets you create your own interactive stories, animations, games, music and art. Start moving. Okay, let's just have a look, a look at it. Um, so here we have this sort of Scratch interface and we've got some familiar things at the top here. We've got these tabs, almost like sub-tabs of, of different um, things. I don't quite know what they mean. And we've got some scripts, costumes and sounds here as well. And these are tabbed, which we can go through. And we've got this little cat at the top here. So let's go back to our tutorial and see what it says here. So it says, right, drag a move block into the scripts area. Right, okay, so we, we drag this into here. Right. Uh, click on the block, block to make the cat move. Okay, so we click it. Oh. Okay, well, fair enough. Next to number two, add a sound. So we click the purple one and drag out play drum and snap it to the move block. Click and listen. If you can't hear it, check the sound is on on your computer. Okay, so we've got sounds. Uh, play drum and we click it onto there. Oh, it's working, look at that. And it's drumming and moving at the same time. Okay, and we can kind of, you can choose different uh, drums from pull down menus. Let's have a look at this. Oh, wow, look at all that. Um, more. Well, let's do hand clap. Okay. The next one is three, start a dance. So move 10 steps, play drum 14 for two beats, move minus 10 steps. I'll move the move block inside the block and type a minus sign. Click on any of the blocks to run the stack. Add another play drum block and then choose drum from the menu. Click run. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll go back here. We pop that, click that in. We're going to put a minus there. And then, okay. And then we're going to add another drum sound to here. And we'll, uh, Chinese symbol. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. All right, click to run. Number four, again and again. Okay, right. So we go to control, drag out a forever block and drop it on the top of the stack. You want the mouth of the forever to wrap around the other blocks. Okay, so we go to control. And um, we look for forever and we open it up like this. And you see it kind of opens up and clamps around there. There we go. How do I stop it? I'll click it again. To drag. Uh, to drag a stack, pick it up from the top block. Okay, click to run. You can click on any block to run a stack. To stop, click the button at the top of the screen. So there's this one as well. And that stops everything. Green flag. Uh, drag out a green flag block and snap it to the top. Whenever you click the green flag, your script will start. To stop, click the stop button. Okay, so we click that up there. Click it on. And stop. That's okay. So and this can be moved. Look, you can move this about on this ta table here. If you can take one out. All oh, right. I see. Take that from where. So you you can rearrange things. Huh. And if it's got undo. File. Undelete. No. Okay. Excellent. Let's just stop it. Okay. Change color. Now try something different. 
we go to looks and we want to drag out a change effect block okay and where are we going to put it oh right just anywhere so click to see what it does looks change effect block aha uh -huh. changes the color um, next one is key press okay so we want when space so we're going back to controls when space is pressed change the color so I'm pressing space bar now and our, our cat is changing color brilliant you can choose a different key from the pull down menu so you could have things like um, C for color couldn't you brilliant add a sprite each object in Scratch is called a sprite. To add a new sprite, click on one of these buttons. New sprite. Click one of these buttons. Right, so, like. Right, okay. Paint your own sprite. Choose a sprite from it and get a surprise sprite. Goodness me. To add this sprite, click that button, which is choose a new sprite, which I've just done, and then go to the people folder and select, select Jody1. People, people, people. Jody. Jody one. Oh, Miss Dashes. Okay. Pop, pop down there. Nine. Explore. Now you can tell the sprite what to do. Try the following, or explore on your own. Say something. Click the looks category and get a say block. Click say. Click inside the say block. And type to change the words. Try to th try the think block too. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to the purple one. So let's see. Uh, hang on a sec. Click on the looks category. Looks. Okay. Uh, say hello. Does it say hello for two seconds? Yeah. So we're gonna say hello. And we're gonna say. Yellow. Huh? Um, try the think block too. Okay, where's the think? Ah, uh -huh, think. Oh, maybe I need to. No, what's the think one not doing? Anything? Think. Hmm, aha, there we go. Alright. Uh, image effects. Use the pull down menu to choose different effects. Change. Alright, let's go and grab that in here. Pixelate. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. That goes back. Stop that back up. Um, then click the block to see the change. Clear the effects. Click the stop button. So if you get, if you're like me, we <laughs> go a bit mad on it. <laughs> it turns into blob. Click that button up here, and that'll take us back to the beginning. Okay. Explore more. Add a sound. Click the sounds tab. Record your own sound. Oh my goodness. Click the sounds tab. Sound. Oh, here. Record. Um, okay. Hello! Hello! Aha. Uh -huh. So, okay. Recording one, we've done that. Um, ah, and then click the scripts tab and drag a play sound block in. Okay. Play sound. Scripts, play sound. Hello! Got you. Uh, animate. By switching between costumes, you can animate your own sprite. To add a costume, click on the Costumes tab, right, and then click Import to choose a second costume. For example, try the image Jody 2 from the People's folder. Now click the Scripts, ta scripts tab, create a script that switches between costumes. 
Okay, okay. So, costumes. We want a new one. We want to import Jody 2. Uh, which is that one? Okay. Scripts. Now we want to create a script. So we want to. What have they done? Forever. Okay, so we'll just put that first. Forever. And then they've got a purple one. So switch to costume, Jody 2. Uh, I wonder if we could do. And then switch to costume, Jody. One. Uh, two, two. Wait, we need a wait. Wait one second. Put that in the middle. Let's see what happens. Uh, we need another wait. See, I'm doing it a little bit different. Let's, hang on a second. One second. So that will be that one, then it waits, and then that one, then it waits, then it goes back. There we go. That's my one. They've done one which is next costume, wait one second, and then that repeats. But you can do it any way you, any way you think. It's just a really good idea to sort of start having a look at these and see, see if you can uh, work it out for yourself. Now what? You can create many different types of projects with Scratch. To see example projects, select Open from the File menu, and then click the Examples button and choose from any of the folders. You may want to start with a photo of yourself or your favourite character, or start by animating the letters of your name. Good idea. Uh, when you have an idea for a project, select New from the File menu and start creating. Click the Share to upload your project to the Scratch website, which is there, and visit, visit the Scratch website to learn more. Um, and then a little bit about it there. So I hope um, that's kind of given us a little bit of a few ideas. And what I'm going to do next time is we're going to create some. We're going to do a little bit of animation next time, and we'll also uh, um, we'll develop a little game, and um, and we'll do some other bits and pieces as well. So I hope you've had a little taste of Scratch now. And if you want to kind of follow this these tutorials, uh, do subscribe, and remember to click the like button as well. It really helps. Okay. Thanks very much. Now. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.